Hello, welcome everybody. Welcome back to school. Happy New Year. I hope that everybody had an amazing break. And here we are in robotics class. So um, this week we're going to be moving right along. We're moving into unit three. So if you remember um, before the break, we finished up unit two and you guys did the castle crasher challenge. So you were supposed to do the entire challenge, knock all the castles down and send me the code. And then you were supposed to take the unit to test. So hopefully everybody did that. I was looking and I, it looks like I didn't see some of you guys in there that did not take the test and some of you that I didn't get the code from. So please, because why the end of our quarter is quickly coming up. So you want to make sure you get all your work done, right? And um, I'm gonna be checking. So uh, please make sure to send it in. All right, so let's get started. So this is uh, unit three. And so we're, this is called repeating behaviors. So we're gonna be learning how to repeat something. <clears throat> so this might be familiar to you if you've used code.org with me in the past because we use the repeat block. We use the loop, right? A loop, you can do something over and over again. Um, so it'll be similar to that. I'll show you how to do it. Um, so we're in this unit, we're going to learn how to solve the draw a house challenge. So this is a little bit different. We're going to use, use the pen tool on the VR robot. And that tool allows you to draw different shapes in the art canvas playground. So you'll learn how to use loops, um, which is allowing you to um, repeat a set of behaviors multiple times. So let me put the little video on and then um, I'll come back. In this unit, you will learn how to use the pen tool to draw different shapes with the VR robot. The pen on the VR robot is a tool that allows you to draw lines on the playground as the VR robot drives around. You will also learn how to use loops in VexCode VR to repeat a set of behaviors multiple times, such as drawing the sides of a square. You will have the chance to apply your new skills of drawing using the pen to complete the Draw a House Challenge. In this challenge, the VR robot will need to draw a building and a roof on the Art Canvas playground. Have fun learning how to draw with your VR robot. Okay, so just a little introduction for you guys. Um, so I'm gonna move on now. So we're learning how to draw with the pen. So um, they do have a tool It's called the pen. So I'll show you guys where that is. Um, and we're going to learn, we're gonna start with drawing a basic square. Um, so we're going to learn how to use the move robot pen block to make a black line. And we're going to um, learn how to set the pen color to change. Um, the colors that you can use are black, red, green, and blue. Black, red, green, and blue. So please remember that because there's going to be a quiz at the end of this lesson asking you what color is the robot not able to do. And so if it's a color other, other than black, red, green, or blue, it can't do it. Um, and it's also going to be asking you what block we use, um, which is the move robot pen block. So I'm gonna be showing you guys where that is as well. Okay, so everybody remembers, hopefully I'll review how to open up um, in VEX code. So when you're in here, um, you should have a new project. So you can go to file new blocks project in case you need to clear it out. Um, and just make sure that everything looks good, okay? And then we're gonna be naming our project in a few minutes as well. Um, okay, so let me move on. So we're gonna learn how to draw a square. So the move robot pen block moves the pen tool up and down on the VR robot. Um, in this example, we're going to be drawing a square on the art canvas playground. So we have to drag the move robot pen block and attach it to the when started. So let's go ahead and look for it. Um, so you can, if you scroll down, um, it's over in the purple looking blocks, move robot pen. So if you drag that block in, um, you can use the pull down menu and it can either go up or down. So those are the two directions. Um, so we need to set the parameters. So after, we're going to need to drive four block because we need to actually drive the robot, right? And in this case, it's telling us to set it for 600 millimeters. So let's go grab a drive forward block and then let's change it 
to 600 since they already told us that in the directions. Um, and then we need to be able to turn our robot because we're making a square. We know that a square has a 90 degree angle. So we're gonna use the turn right for 90 degrees block. So get your block and it already has 90 degrees. So this is going to get us one line across and then it's going to turn the robot. But if we want to make a square, then we have to do what? We have to do that four times, right? So we're going to use the duplicate and we're going to duplicate the code. So it says to draw the second side of the square, duplicate the drive four and the turn blocks. To duplicate, you right click on them. So let's go back here. Let's right click duplicate and then let's put it right there. And look at that. How easy was that? We didn't even have to drag it out, right? Um, and now it says we can do it again, right? If we want to do it again, then we can go to the last two and we can press duplicate and then it will duplicate it. So then that way, how many times do we need the pattern? We need it four times. So let's click here, right click, duplicate. And look at that, it gave us all four of them. So now in like three clicks, we have all the code that we need to create a square, right? So now we wanna select the playground and we want to open the art canvas because that's the one that we're using. So if you remember in the playground, we you did the castle crasher, we're not doing that anymore. This time we're using the art canvas. So you have to click the little pull down arrow, click on art canvas, and it should look like a blank canvas, okay? So there it is. Um, and then we are going to drive our, we're gonna press um, go and we will see, hopefully it's going to draw a square. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna press start. So there goes our robot is going, turning, going, and it should draw a nice looking square, hopefully, let's see. Yay, it did a square. Okay, so now it's gonna show you how to do the color. So the set pen color block can be used to change the colors of the pen. And again, your choices are black, red, green, and blue. So we can add this in if we would like to um, go ahead and change the color of our pen. So we can add that, probably wanna add that in over here. So maybe we wanna make the color red. So now let's start a new playground and then let's start it and see if it does it in red now. So now it's drawing it in red. So you see how I changed the color of the pen and that is allowing it to make the shape in a different color. So of course you can be creative with this. You could actually make every side of your square a different color if you want. You can just keep using the block and sticking it in there before every turn. Um, just have another set block in there. Like say you wanna maybe then change it and have it be green here. You could do that. Or maybe then you wanna make um, the next one, I don't know, uh, black again. Um, so it's really up to you. So hopefully you can easily draw a square, okay? That's really like the first part. So make sure that you know how to draw a square. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the mini challenge. So for the mini challenge, we're going to use the pen tool to draw two squares of different sizes on the art canvas. So we have to follow the steps. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to go to file, new blocks project, discard it. I want you to rename this, put your name. So please make sure you put your name so I know it's you. So I'm doing Mrs. Erica, unit um, three, whoops, unit three, lesson number one. Okay, so please call unit three, lesson number one. And this is um, the square challenge. Okay, so that way I'll know what it is. Please put your name and please put the lesson number because it's hard for me if you just send me a file and it doesn't have your name and it doesn't have the lesson number, I have no idea what it is. And then I have to open it and try to figure out what your code is. And if your code is wrong, I don't even know which one it's for. 
So please make sure that you're putting your name and the, and the lesson number, the title of the lesson, that'd be helpful. Um, and you're renaming it before you go ahead and send it to me in the email, okay? All right, so let's go check out the mini challenge. So uh, I'll put the little video on. Um, so this is what it's going to be doing. So it's going to be creating a larger square. And then after that, it's going to move ahead and create a smaller square. So we do have to think about the code here because what are we doing? Well, the robot is creating one square, it's a different size. And then the code is telling it to move over to here and then create a square that's smaller. So let's start taking a look at the code. So the square on the right, okay, it should be 600 by 600 millimeters. And then the smaller one on the left should be 300 by 300. So we already can think about the basic code. We know it's going to be drive forward 600 millimeters, turn right 90 degrees because we know it's a square, but we have to make sure that the length of our sides is 600 by 600 for the bigger one and 300 by 300 for the smaller one. The squares should not be touching each other. So the pen tool will need to be picked up after drawing the first square and then placed back down. So I will show you guys how to do that. Um, so hang on one second, I'm gonna pull it up. Okay, I pulled up the code um, just to, for time's sake so that I can go through it with you guys. So here's the first block that we're using, set drive velocity. So remember, that's your speed, right? So you guys can um, use that block, how fast do you want your robot to go? Then we need our robot pen to be down, right? So you need to move that block in. And then here is the code for our first square. Drive forward for 600 millimeters, turn right for 90 degrees, and then we're repeating that code one, two, three, four times, right? So make sure that you have the four sides of 600 millimeters to be able to create your square. Then what we have to do after that is get the code for moving our robot pen up. Why do we need to do this? Because the directions they told us here, they said the square should not be touching each other. So you have to make sure that the pen goes up so that it's not drawing anymore. And then we um, chose 200 millimeters. So we're just gonna drive forward 200 millimeters. So that way, when we make the final squares, do you see how there's a little bit of space between them? So you just need to move forward about 200 millimeters. Then you can put your pen down again, move robot pen down, so move that code over. And then this is the code for the smaller square. Um, drive forward 300 millimeters, turn left 90 degrees, drive forward 300 millimeters, and it's doing exactly the same pattern. So I'm gonna open up my playground and run this just to show you guys what it should look like when you do the final code. And then of course you can always go back and copy my code if you um, are stuck. So here you go. It's creating the first square, the larger one. It's putting the pen down and then now putting the pen, see there you go, I put the pen up then down. So that way it was able to make sure that there was enough space right here between the two squares and it wasn't drawing a line there. So we wouldn't want it just going straight across because then it would look like the squares were connected and they said that they shouldn't be touching. So going back to the code again, you can put in any blocks of code and you can right click and duplicate them so that you don't have to keep dragging them over. You can also be creative if you would like to set the color of the pen, you can stick that block in there. And if maybe you want to do green for the first square, and then maybe you want to do, um, let's say, red for the next. You want to do Christmas colors? I know Christmas is over, but um, okay. So let's run this and I'll show you guys the colors. So it's going to be doing the first one in green. And then it's going to do the second one in red. So again, you can do this if you want. You don't have to change the color. If you just wanna keep it in the default of black, you can do that. But if you wanna be creative and have fun, you can make them two different colors. 
So what I'm looking for in the grading here is I'm looking for the full code. So you're gonna send me your file with this full code to create the larger square and the smaller square. Um, in order to get 100, uh, your robot needs to be able to create both of the squares at the correct size, 600 by 600 for the larger one, 300 by 300 for the smaller one. And there needs to be a space between the squares so they're not touching. The color is optional. If you want to do that, you can. If you don't, then don't. Um, but I'll be looking that, to make sure that you created both of the squares. If you did, you'll get 100 on that part. Next part is the quiz. So there's two questions this week. Again, we just went over them. Uh, these quizzes, if you're watching the lesson, there is no reason why you should not get 100. I go through the answers to the questions. So really, if you fail these quizzes, it's your own fault because it means that you're, you're just in another world. You're not watching the lessons. You're not taking notes. I don't know. I mean, what else can I possibly do? I literally go through the questions and I tell you the answers. Um, which of the following blocks is used to lift up the VEX VR pen? Hopefully you guys remember, it's the move robot pen block, right? And what color lines can the VEX code VR pen not draw? Hmm, I'm not even gonna say it because I went through the colors like a million times. So please go and, and select the one that is can't do, okay? So um, that's your homework for this week. Uh, send me the code for the two squares, take your quiz, and hopefully you guys get 100 on both of them, all right? Um, so reach out if you have any questions, um, and uh, that's about it. So have fun uh, making squares. Um, and I think we're going to have fun with the drawing tool because we're going to move on uh, next lesson and create some more things. So um, anyways, have a good day. See you guys. Bye.